Hey Jeremiah, it's Daniela Barbosa with Factiva. Since you're infatuated with YouTube today, I figured I would take the opportunity to show you the new RSS capabilities that you requested in Salesworks and uh, last weekend they put in there in production. So uh, let's take a look. All right, I'm gonna switch over to my big screen here and hopefully that'll give you a better view. Um, as you know, Salesworks is the destination product, uh, primarily for salespeople and marketing people to understand more about their customers. So I'm quickly gonna go through this. Uh, let's say I'm interested in setting up a prospect alert, an alert meaning to get some information about a prospect, and in this case, I'll choose Hitachi Data Systems. So I go ahead and run a search on Hitachi Data Systems and I'm going to find out a whole list of people that I might be interested in. And I know that I want number eight there, so I'm going to click on number eight. And what I'm immediately going to get, if you can see on the screen here, is basically the general company information as well as um, a discovery pane on the right side where we actually see the companies that are in the news based with this one, some subjects and some industries. And I'll take this through uh, with you at another time. But what I want to show you is that simply by clicking on add to watch list, what I'm doing is creating a alert on a company. In this case, Hitachi Data Systems. I assign it to which category, competitors, customers, other, or prospects. I can also, if I'm interested in searching for specific keywords against that company, I can go ahead and do that. Or by subject, in this case, I might be interested in management moves, maybe new products and services that Hitachi is putting out, and mergers and acquisitions that might lead me to make a call to someone there. I can also choose to get analyst reports and I can select if I want the 10K, the 4K, the insider, the proxy, etc. And I also have the ability to set up email alerts if I don't want to just view it online or via RSS. Um, I certainly get a lot of emails and I've been trying to stop getting news alerts uh, via my email. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. Now that's not any new functionality really, except for the visualization of the articles. Um, so now you'll see my company alert list and on the right side, as soon as it comes up, actually it goes back to the company, let's go back to my company alert list. You can see on the right side here are all my customers, prospects, etc. So I see Hitachi Data Systems and I'm gonna select to pull out the RSS feed by clicking on the RSS icon, I get my feed name. And now I could take that feed name and I can pop it into an RSS reader. So I'm gonna start off with my Hitachi Data Systems team site that in this case is on built on SharePoint, which we share our shared documents when we meet people. We have information from key developments to maybe some financial information, um, all being pulled from Salesworks using um, our web parts. But what I'm interested in doing today is actually modifying my feed reader in order to put Factiva information right next to the feeds that I monitor at Hitachi. In this case, Yushida's blog, as well as Web Strategies by Jeremiah, uh, one of my favorite blogs. <laughs> so what I do is I just copy and paste the information, the RSS feed URL, and it's simple for you and me because we're geeks, but I'm sure that salespeople by now are going, what? So what I work with is obviously customers that can generate these web pages dynamically, for example, based on a listing of companies in their CRM system or their incentive-based system. So tying in the companies that the salespeople are going to see. So once that closes up, what we'll see is that the feed reader that I have on my SharePoint site is pulling uh, web content, blogs, in this case you, and uh, web strategies by Jeremiah, and also my Factiva track folder, which is when news content based on the selections I did before arrive, it will arrive there intermingled with my uh, web content. I can also use a free service, for example, like uh, blog lines. So if I wanna add this feed to my blog lines. I go ahead and do that. And I just paste in the feed URL. And I add that to my blog lines. So it's very simple to take an RSS feed and an alert list and create RSS uh, feeds for your users. Anyway, there's a lot of other neat stuff uh, going on with Salesworks and uh, if I feel, mm, 
I will <laughs> go ahead and show you some of that.